What's up guys, Sarah Stricken, and welcome back to her story. Now, I am falling in love with this game. I, it's getting so intense, and there's so much to it, and I can't wait to see what all actually happens. Now, we have to see the very ending, which is when she says she wants her lawyer, and that they're all just stories that they're telling, and blah, 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 blah. But... This is such an int this is such a great like story game. It really does bring um, live action video in into games, and it really shows how well they can mesh. And I, I think that the only way they can really mesh mesh is in something like this. But it's done so well, and I have to get credit credit to the creator. He, he did an absolutely amazing job. Um, I've got my little book right here that shows everything that we've done, everything that we still need to do when we have to look up in the terminal um, and search up the terms and the database and whatnot. Okay, so far what we know um, is that <coughs> Eve and Hannah are twins. Um, I'm not 100% sold on that just yet. Yeah, I think it's all a giant story, but, you know, what the fuck ever. Um, there's a giant dollhouse that they were both very, very attached to. Um, Simon married Hannah. Um, and I guess it seemed like they were going through a rough patch because it feels like they split up. Because I think she kicked him out and then she let him come back. Um, so we're going to look that up too. We're going to look up, um, divorce and, and see if there's anything to that because it kind of talked about it in the last episode, but we didn't address it, address it. Although, oh, also I'm actually wearing a dress, <laughs> which is rare on this channel. I know, but I'm wearing a really nice dress. I got it at Hot Topic. This I actually got, um, at a little store that where I live. It makes my boobs look absolutely humongous, twice as big as they actually it makes them look like the size that they really are. I'm also wearing my goggles. I'm actually going to be wearing kind of this outfit to um, to the convention that I'm going to in two weeks, <laughs> actually. Um, I'll be leaving in two weeks. Um, so I'm, I'm working on it. The goggles really don't fit, though. They're a little too big, so I have to adjust them. And I'm also going to be putting them on a bowler hat that I'm creating. Um... And if I can't reuse the bowler hat I already have, I'm going to have to just, um, what is it? Um, I'm going to have to scrap it and get a new one. And I can actually get one up here where I live. There's a party store and I can use one of the cheap ones and really like mess with it and really make it my own, which I might have to do because the one we have, um, it, it's seen better days. <laughs> it really has. The goggles actually used to be on the hat, but the hat, I don't know. I'm also using my little, oh, as I just, like, beat the fuck out of my mic, god damn it. Um, I'm also wearing my little, like, chainy chain chain and my little dragon bracelet because that's my thing. <laughs> I gotta wear a dragon bracelet or a necklace in some way, shape, or form in these videos. Um, cause I'm a dragon and you're all my little dragons, I have decided. Also, we've hit 30 subscribers, which is so cool! <laughs> so, for those of you that are just joining the channel, welcome. Um, you guys are actually going to be seeing this on a Wednesday. I am recording this on a Sunday because I am trying to get ahead on the videos to get ready for me being gone for a whole week. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, plus like a couple extra days, you know, just to help me get back into the scheme of things after being gone for over a week of not being allowed to do much for the channel. I've got a lot of things I'm going to be doing in Seattle. I'm not going to have time. Um... So yeah, but let's get right back to the game, though. We'll talk about all that stuff in a vlog or something later. Um, okay, so we learned about Carl. He was Eve's first, but Hannah couldn't do it. So Eve took a toothbrush and stuck up her virgin... <laughs> um, so I guess the next thing we would have to look for would be... He, she said that... Simon said that it was like a walking dream being with Eve um, when he met her at the bar when she was singing. So let's... I don't know. Walking dream. Okay, nothing. Alright, so I didn't have to worry about that. I just want to make sure because it just seemed like... <coughs> excuse me. It seemed like something that I needed to remember. Um, but they did talk about the Ouija board, though. So let's listen to O U I J A. That's how you spell it, right? Yeah, I think so. Ouija board. 
it. Okay, there's another part. All right. Because they did talk about it. When beautiful people died, we always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. That people who die tragically leave some kind of magic behind. We used to share dreams. We used to wake up oh. and write them down in our diaries so... immediately and compare them. Dreams. Why well, else goes nothing? Um Diaries? No, we already watched those too. We're pointing out of things to like look about. Um rules. Because they talked about having rules. There we go. There's some more videos. Maybe we might find some stuff out in this one. Where's my pen? There it is. Okay, um, she's being chased. Um, they're trying to catch her because she did something bad. I guess she broke the rules. Or maybe they think she did something bad. Oh. Maybe it wasn't her fault. She looks scared, not guilty. Maybe it was mistaken identity. Okay, um, hold on. I gotta move this just a little bit, um, for the- there we go. <laughs> I had to move my pop filter. Because <clears throat> I need to start using it on this. Um, okay, so... I'm not sure what that means. Just became our way of life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things. And we were very careful. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules that said what we could and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. <coughs> We would consider all the permutations of future events. Jeez, okay. And so, agree that's a lot to do, them. though, for two girls. I, even twins. I, 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 I'm still not completely convinced they're twins. I'm still kind of thinking... I don't know. I don't... I just... I don't know if they're twins or not. I'm not 100% sold on it. There's a giant possibility to it. But I'm not 100% sold on the whole twin thing. It's it's strange. It could happen. It, it could very well happen. I mean, twins are a normal thing to do. I have twins in my family. My um they're not, you know, they're 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 not both girls or both boys. It's actually a boy and a girl. My cousins Marlon and Marina, they're um they're 2 years old, younger than me. And they're twins. So it and you know, I've known identical twins. I've gone to school with identical twins. Both me male and female identical twins you know so it's not something that can't happen and you know you hear about you know oh how somebody almost got away with murder because they had an identical twin i think they even did an episode of it on criminal minds um except the twins didn't know each other until like years 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 down the road um i i mean it could happen it could happen but I'm just not completely sold on it yet. I need... If there was a way to, like, see them both together, that would, like, instantly 100% because it'd be physically there. But unfortunately, I don't know if there's any video footage of the two of them actually being in the same room. Um, if they were, I mean, that'd be great. I don't know. Because Hannah denies... It seems like Hannah's denying it, and Eve is completely and utterly admitting it. So... Who do you believe? And is this not just like a split personality thing? I, I don't know.
It lasted about six months. I tried to carry on, but everything was different. Ah, do you care? Hannah insisted I not pretend to be her around Simon, let alone sleep with him. We didn't share him like the others. The rules had changed. Me living in the That's understandable, to be honest. I mean, Hannah's found somebody that she before. wants to be with for the rest of her life. And she doesn't want to share him with her twin sister, which... It's... That's understandable. It, it is. Again, I'm not completely early sold on them being twins, but... That's not an impossible thing to think or believe, in my opinion. Anyway, so that's just what I think. Um... Let's see. I want to look... Swapping places. Is there anything on that? No, oh, it's just that. So that video we've already seen. Imaginations. No. Okay, we've already seen that too. Um, don't they have Ouija board? We've done rules. <clears throat> what about the separation? Because she talked about like Simon leaving and then him coming back and... Why do I say separations? I probably even spelled that wrong. Okay, yeah, I'm spelling something wrong because I suck. Um, divorce. All right, well, that's that. So that's just Diana, Princess Di. <laughs> What else have we- oh, why did I do that? I should not have done that. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I wish there was a way you could just like click on the individual videos once you find them in the database and be able to bring up that video. That would make things so oh, much easier. I still gotta figure out what she's doing in this one. Cause she's doing the- I'm gonna try and see if I can write down what she's- cause it's Morse code. Also, I got a big jug. It's full of like ice cream tea. <laughs> it's huge. It's forty-four. It, it's forty-four ounces. Oh crap! I think I totally got that wrong. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, well, okay. So it was short, 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 and then there was a pause. What? Long. One, two. Okay, long one, two, three, dash. Okay, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five? That's not what? I'm I don't I'm trying to
okay, so I think I got it. It was short, 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 long, short, 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 long, long, short, 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 short. I think that's what it was. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up though really fast. So um I'll be right back. All right, so I looked up Morse code. Um, I used to actually have a thing for it on my computer, but I got rid of it. Um, it was just a picture with like the different things. I don't know if I got this right, so God, I hope I did. Um, so S B H five M five S five. Nothing. So I got it wrong. I must have gotten it wrong. It was four, not five. Or four, not three. Okay, so if that's the case, then one, two, three, four is an H. So that shouldn't be an S, that should be an H. Why did two two fives? No. Well then what the hell? I'm just gonna write in Morse code. <laughs> Nothing. So I don't know what that is. I'm probably gonna have to look it up and see what it is in like somebody else's playthrough. I know the gr Game Grumps. Um, I know they did a playthrough of this. Um, I can't remember who it was, but I know one of them did a playthrough of it. <coughs> I'll have to look it up and see what they found <clears throat> because I honestly have absolutely no idea. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So that didn't help me in any way, shape, or form. Um. What else could we do for this one? Um. Oxford. Or do we already... Why did I say Oxford? Ah, that's not... Oh, okay, there's two more that we haven't watched. Okay. There was a conference. Something to do with double glazing. In Oxford? Okay. Are you sure? What would you be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? <coughs> I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. It was supposed to be a secret. Okay, there we go. Just because Simon is dead doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. So, what about secrets? There's more! Alright. Um, I hoover my dust every week. 
maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, tell them you do so it once a what's week. Eleanor? I once asked Eleanor how often uh, I should dust, okay. and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week, but every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day. I love this thing. ran an ordered house. You know how that generation is putting on a brave front. Hmm. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books cigarettes inside and she still has them I mean, last time i was there i looked in a vase there was a fresh pack i mean all those years of marriage and she still has a secret like that i'll admit i used to smoke um not that much not like a chimney or anything i i didn't smoke very often i probably went through like maybe the most I ever smoked was going through about a pack a month, so almost a cigarette a day, sometimes two a day. Um, and I didn't want that. You know, I did that for a long time, and that's just because I'm around so many people in the military. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that I just got used to it, that I got used to them smoking around me, so in turn I ended up starting smoking. And that's how a lot of people in the military, or in the military, whatever you want to say it, um, that's how a lot of people start smoking. You know, it's because you're around it constantly. You want to go on break, you go on a smoke break. It's, it, and it, it works with the military wives, too. You know, you, we were just around it all the time. And we always had a lot of people come over that uh, the ferry worked with. So, yeah, I used to smoke a lot. I don't anymore, though. I haven't had a smoke in almost a year. Yeah, almost a year. Probably a year in... August or September um, but it's been a very long time and it was easy for me to quit though um, I know it's not easy for a lot of people to quit but it was very easy for me because uh, I never really got addicted because I would go long 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 periods of time without smoking so yeah don't smoke it's bad for we you we went together we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book the knock code something prisoners of war would use the knock code we'd tap them out on Radiator pipes or the attic floor. Not code. I don't even know if I want to attempt. Okay, so. Okay, so it's just that. So. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can look up the not code and, and, and figure it out. Okay, so after so much research, I found out that the code that I had was completely utterly off. Um, <laughs> what it is, it's a code that was actually created in Vietnam by soldiers so that they could talk back and forth to each other. Now, how it works is that it, it's a grid system. It is so fucking complex. I'm not even going to, like, try it. It's also called the TAP code. Um, and then there's another name for it. I can't remember. But she actually says... What Hannah's doing her tapping thing after she is regretting talking about Eve. Um, she's saying, love you. So... It's not just love you, it's just love with a U. Um, but I 
don't think that's gonna work. And by the way, I forgot, it's not Game Grumps, it's Yogg's cast. It's the Yogg's cast. I totally messed it up. I apologize. Um, but it, it was the Yogg's cast that um, did a playthrough of this, not Game Grumps. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will put a link to their playlist for it, um, of their playthrough, in the description down below so you can see for yourself. But that's the only way I was able to find out. I had to watch their playthrough. And because I could not figure out for the life of me what the hell I was supposed to do. So there's an episode. Let's watch this. Cute. You must love them very much. What ages are they? Okay. Um. And the other one is, uh, is the one that um, Eve did. And it actually says B Y. What is it? BYU Hannah, I think is what it says. Um, BY something Hannah. But apparently the code was so complex, they did a lot of abbreviations when they were at when soldiers would actually use it. So we got to figure out what the abbreviation is for. Dear freaking Christ. Um, why did I say that's not what I meant to put? Kids. There we go. Okay. <coughs> I got a job. To contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. I think there's always been Eve. Is the thing. Well, there you go. How many kids? Hmm. That's creepy. <laughs> Still trying to figure this out. This is such a hard series to find out. So, this translates to love you. And the other one translates to is it a BYU or BYO? I gotta look it up again, but it's like BYO. Hannah. Ah. Uh, frick. I don't know. God damn it. Uh. BYD. I think that's what it is. It's BYD. Why did I say BYO? I don't know. <coughs> yeah, it's still nothing. So we need to figure out what BYD is before your defense. Um, I don't know. Something your. It's got to be something your something. It's got to. There's got to be a your in there somewhere. Um. God, I just don't know where to go from here. Secrets, rules, um... Hiding? No. I know I've already looked this one up. What about even Simon? Nope. Okay, there's more about Hannah and Simon. All right. No. The parents decided there would be a wedding. And after the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated again. Okay. I stayed in the attic. It was hard. It was like I suddenly didn't exist. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying to get pregnant. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't do it with anyone we knew, so it was... Sex with strangers, drug guys I'd met in clubs, 
parks and alleyways. I was 17. It felt like I was being punished. But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. I had to stop when one of the guys gave me an STD. When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my reflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter, flushed. If anything, I was getting skinnier. I had a hearty look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? I mean, that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. And that was the plan. I'm still confused about the parents' death, to be honest. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy, and it left her infertile. Felt like the universe had corrected its course. We were aligned again. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Eric had given him a full-time position after he left school. And then... Mm. This is getting really interesting. Um... So... STD. I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I was depressed, was still pretty sick of the STD. And I came down one morning and they were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up a lot. And I'd slept through it. The police said it was the mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. I mean, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. And there's no way you would have picked death caps. But the police believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. Hmm. So that was just that. Park, there we go. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. Mm. I walked in, Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack, I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen, because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper, but he wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I looked quickly in the living room, nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Doug and Elena. And then I decided to come and see you. Don't know. 
So his parents were Doug and Eleanor. So Eleanor. Okay, there's more about Eleanor. All right. Yeah, I've been mad to Doug and Eleanor's, and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Okay. Yes. I speak with Eleanor at least once a day. Not that there's anything much to say. Oh! She spilled a coffee. Okay. <coughs> okay, so those are like the same. So... Nothing. So what about just regular coffee? Oh, okay, so coffee did something. Mm. Back eight years back. It was a present to myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. I drank coffee when I was pregnant. Um, I'll admit it, it's, it's, it's not that it's bad for the baby, it's just not, you can have a little, you can't have a whole lot. I drink a shit ton of tea though, when I was pregnant, Jesus Christ. So many trips to Pike Place Market because I was pregnant at the time with my son and we were living in Washington, uh, on the Seattle side, in the water, uh, in the ocean side. So, always go to Pike Place Market to restock tea because I drank an ungodly amount. No. I was sick I've had enough coffee for today, today, thanks. Glass of water. Wait, what'd you say? No. I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. Oh, so they gave her the shirt to change into after she, um, after the coffee spilt on her. That's why the shirt changed. So it's actually the same interview just she had to change her shirt because she spilled her coffee okay that makes sense that that does make sense coffee i guess milk and sugar okay there's still a whole lot that we're missing there are pieces that i'm not getting I'm trying to figure out how. I'm totally spelling this wrong, Rapunzel. Yeah, I'm totally spelling that wrong. I don't know how to spell Rapunzel. I suck at spelling. I did not do well. Um, so we know about RSTD. She was 17. Why is that? There we go. Ah, oh, more stuff about her being 17. Okay, these are probably going to be like the last videos before, by the way, before we end this episode. A long time. We got married when I was 17. Okay. I did? Well... We met when we were 17, both working at the glaciers. All right. Yeah, we were 17. It was a nice wedding, people said. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. His parents paid for everything, but he's an only child, so it was important to them. It was what they called a shotgun wedding, but if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. Hmm. Well, how much time do I have left? Um, let's do wedding, just to see. I don't know if we already looked this up. We might have. Okay, there's one video we haven't seen. 
I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> we had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon for that moment. Just the two of us. Mm. Okay, so that's putting a little more stuff there. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this episode... Hit that like button, subscribe for more of my videos. As always, I'm Sarah Strick. I love each and every one of you, and I will talk and play for you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye! I'm not the one to grow my hair, no, I'm not.